My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start All asking clear, questions, sir. potentially turn on Monarch. Alternatively, Mr. I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved, but his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Liam Burke over there can explain the situation in more detail. Of course. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages, the location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time, the location where my fate was sealed six years ago. We had Jack in custody but I was starting to witness visions from the future which made it clear that could change very soon. Paul, the men are waiting for your input. Sir, who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. <laughs> I want this delivered to my office. What is it? A reminder. Paul, we need your decision on how to proceed with the witnesses. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses, it would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us.
Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Initialize a PR campaign. I want a sting. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody sneaking around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk, keep eyes on them, and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait, no! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us, to decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. And if Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Don't even twitch. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Up into the past. 
try to change things. Answer me this question, Will. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Martin, I'm afraid you're going to have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. leads I've been to the end of time and I've escaped it all the way to 1999 when it all started I've tried to change things but by trying I only made them happen in the first place this thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Martin, how is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? 
Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. I want him apprehended. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. All right, Amaral. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those troopers. And then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Sophia's date has always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, I think I'll do that myself. I see. Sir? Put people on Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on him. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started, Time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. I don't have much time left, I know. I spent 17 years working it out, planning it, building Monarch because I knew what was coming, and I knew it couldn't be stopped. But what I've built has been turned against me. What is the point in saving them if I can't trust them? <sighs> I'm slipping away into pain and rage. The sickness is accelerating. CFR. It has cost me so much. But I have harnessed its power. And with it, my plan will work. With it, I will keep the lights on when the world goes dark. Mr. Serene, sorry to disturb you, sir, but I have that cleanup report on Dr. Kim's lab you wanted. Meet me in my office, soldier. I'll be there when I've sealed the CFR chamber. The lab explosion. My treatments, all gone. First things first, seal the chamber. 
CFR has been secured. Uh, Mr. Serene? I'm in your office. I'll be right there. Serene, out. This soldier doesn't know how close to the end I am. I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of... becoming the enemy. What that would mean... for me... for the plan. I don't know who to trust anymore. Martin Hatch. He used me all these years. How deep does this betrayal run? How many more are there? They, they wanted the lifeboat to fail. Why? Sir? Be right with you, son. Report. Sir, you ordered us to search the demolished lab. Your treatments were destroyed, but there was one left. The casing appears to be broken, but uh, it's all we could find. But it's damaged. Is it safe to use? Uh, sir? I didn't catch that. Or is it a trap? Another betrayal. The treatment will make me weak. Is that what they want? Can any of them be trusted? I'm not a traitor. We're the same now. And I need your help. I can focus on the mission. The lifeboat. See it through to the end. I still have allies I can trust. Look, you have to realize you're not gonna keep me from getting the CFR. Last chance to walk away, Joyce! He would fight to defend us, to slow Jack down. The plan could still work. You have all betrayed me. Assured my downfall. And now... I will assure yours. My world will be renewed. My world will see balance. Chaos. It's falling apart. They're working against me. They're fighting each other. You'll need to get to Serene's office. He's got direct access to the CFR. All right? Joyce fixes the fracture. He fixes the world. And I'll go home happy. Charlie Wincott. Another weakling. A traitor siding with Jack. I can make them suffer. All of them. Sir? Are you all right? Who put you up to this? Sir, you ordered us to go through Dr. Kim's lab. Find what we can- Who are you working for? You, sir! Liar! What the fuck?! Be 
swimming pool.